Hello everybody, this is Shannon from the Wizardry Vlog and today we are at Comic Con Holland! Woo! Hi Sam! Hi! My voice sounds a little bit weird yeah, that's where I'm <laughs> because I am sick but I am still here and today we're going to do a few impressions because it's the first time ever we had this yes. con is here in the Netherlands. You want to say something to our fans? Sorry? Do you want to say something to our fans? <laughs> yes! It's just, as she said, it's the first Comic Con. Normally, this is from Brussels, the same organization. So, Brussels, Antwerp, uh, Ghent, but it's cancelled sometimes. And then, of course, Elftopia. So, we're gonna show you how this Comic Con yes. looks like. So, yes. you're gonna join us on this adventure? Hell yes! Do it! <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this, so this is where you can make a picture, like Shannon in her Hogwarts outfit, with the Fort Anglia. But it costs money, it's 5 euros, not that much. And Aragog is here somewhere too. I don't know where he is, where is he? Aragog is somewhere there. Ah, okay. So <laughs> we go to Aragog in just a second. First we're gonna show you the DeLorean and the taxi from Back to the Future Part 2. So we can't really get close, but it looks great. Ooh. May the force be with you! <laughs> I've never seen Star Wars. I've seen a few Star Wars episodes, but not all of them. I think the Skywalker Saga, like the sequels to the first, so not the prequels. Like the sequels of the first one. Yeah. Sorry. With Ray. I should have said Ray. Yeah, I've seen, that itself. One. I've seen that one. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh, there's one with all the signatures. This there. One. Oh, yeah. This thing is probably worth a lot of money. Look at all the signatures on there. Yeah. There's so many. Look at that. I don't know how old it is. Nobody here to ask. Star Wars, Yoda, hey. R2D2. That's very Boba cool. Boba Fett. Wow. Tim Rose. Some signatures are not really read readable. I don't know all these people. But yeah, but some people. That's Mike Quinn. We've met him. I have him on Facebook, by the way. Nice. <laughs> oh my god, I touched it. Oh I'm no. sorry, sorry people, I touched it. <laughs> it's just excitement. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so this is where the actors are. They have not arrived yet, but I can tell we will be there today. We got Devin Murray, George Herdman, Femi Taylor, Kathy McNally, Julian Glover, and Bernard Hill. And we got Tom Warshiha, or she? I'm so sorry, Tom, I don't know how to pronounce it. And our only Dutchie, Caris van Houten. And here we have Palpatine himself, Ian Mc. I'm not gonna pronounce that. I don't really like this lighting, but we got Grace Van Dien, Richard Harmon, Claudia Wells, Tara Reed, Alec Woodgoff, and Jack Gleason. So here we got photo booth number two and number one. I was looking at the prices, but I was looking at the prices from yesterday, and they're yeah, hanging up the prices for today. So just hang on until uh, he's ready. Here are the prices for Sunday. We got Tara Reed, Grace Van Dien, Alec, Bernard. Claudia, Julian, Richard Harmon, and Grace again. So today we're going to look at a Q&A session of Devin and Josh. Uh, Devin Murray, of course, and Josh. What is his back last name? I, anyways, uh, Harry Potter panel. We're trying to get the panel of uh, Kevin McNally. And maybe who's here today as well? Um, hmm. Anyways. Anyway, there's a lot of people yes, here. There's we're a lot ju of we're people. just tired. <laughs> yeah, we're just tired. I know, I know, Bernard Hill. We oh, could yeah. try Bernard Hill, but I'm not sure because everything is scheduled together. We're going to meet Devon, going on a picture with Devon. <laughs> so everything is at the same time. So, yeah. <laughs> we're going to look at the uh, cosplay groups. We're going to try to find them because this is a small hall. So, and maybe find Aragog. Ooh, Aragog is here too. To He's here Aragog. as well. Julian Glover is here as well. But here's a Star Wars panel that's at the same time as our uh, photo shoot. So, yeah. Hey, uh, are you on an undercover mission? 
Yes. With the dark side? On the yes, um, I have on Wait, don't go this way. <laughs> oh, look. I love you. Proud person. That's how you do it. They're all looking so angry. Okay, now we're behind them, so we can. Uh, oh. giant spider behind me. It's Aragog. Oh my god. Look at him. But Aragog is also very sweet. Not just uh, scary. Unless he's only sweet to Hagrid though. True. <laughs> True. He just... Uh, he doesn't care about yeah. his friends, remember? Yeah. Like yeah. Ron. <laughs> what? Mm. We'll just go. Go. My sons and daughters do not harm Hagrid on my command. But I cannot deny them fresh meat when it wanders so willingly into our midst. Goodbye, friend of Hagrid. Can we panic now? Oh, the time has come. We're finally going to Death and Marie! <laughs> the Q&A session and then the photo op. Yes! yes. It's the moment you've been waiting for. Two amazing people with great personalities will be entering here on stage. Give me a, just a test. One round of applause. Okay, and we're going to double, triple, quadruple this. Devon Murray and Josh Hartman! Welcome, welcome. Hello. Oh. Oh yeah, I've, I've hit it here. Here's your microphone. Ooh. Oof. Did you have a good trip to the Netherlands? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, so far, yeah. You, you'll be staying here for, for at least a year now. <laughs> it's great, it's great to have you here. There's still some cosplay noise, but they, they all can hear us fine. So you ook achteraan in the zaal, hoort iedereen ons? Yeah. I asked them if they hear us well, which I suddenly I thought that's not a great question because if you don't hear us... But they're doing okay, they're doing okay. Welcome, it's great to have you here um, as, as two esteemed members of this well, quite select group of people that have lived through all eight of the Harry Potter movies. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It's, uh, it is crazy. Is it, do you... Because they, they've all seen the movies, some of them might even have read the books. Did you read the books, all of them, or did you were you happy to just have played out the characters? Uh, so for me, I've never heard of Harry Potter. And they asked me to fly over... For, thank you. Uh, they asked me to fly over for a screen test. So uh, I flew over and all of a sudden I found out that it was for Harry Potter. So I never read the books afterwards. Uh, I just... We had the script, so that was enough for me. And when Harry Potter finished, then I started reading the books. Yeah, oh, when it's finished, you read, you read the book. Yeah. So while you were filming, people came to you with the books and said, no, 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 I, I have the movie version. I don't need the books. 
It's more, they're much more nuanced exactly. movies. Yeah, the books are so much better than the actual movies. Oh, hell yeah. 100%. So did, did you read them while filming already or also afterwards? No, uh, I had a best friend who had been talking about the, the books for, for years and uh, he was like, what are they about? He was like, magic and wizards and witches. And I was like, at the time, it's not really my thing. And then, uh, and then I got the audition and I told him, and he was like, whoa, he was like super excited. And then uh, basically what happened, I had the first audition and then I got a recall for the number two audition. Now, in between me finishing the first audition, no, uh, them telling me I had the recall okay, yeah. and doing the recall, Yes. I read the first three books in the space of like a week, two weeks. And I absolutely loved them. One went through them. Yeah, yeah, massive uh, Harry Potter book marathon. And then, uh, but I only read the first three, and four was this big. Like, <laughs> That's too much. Also, you wanted to avoid spoilers, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. That's that's a good reason. No, <laughs> ik ga ik ga hier inspringen. Is een beetje eng, dus ik ga nu. I did this earlier this morning. It went well. All right. Just watch that lip. Watch that yeah. that metal gate. Oh, here, right? Oh, right? Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> health and safety. <laughs> good. <laughs> I've been training for this moment all my life. Is er iemand die een vraag durft of wil stellen? Kijk, immediately already there. Here's my hand, and I have the microphone in my other hand. Yeah. What are your favorite movies? If you had to choose from all eight movies, which one would be your favorite? Uh, Prisoner of Azkaban for me, personally, yeah. F uh, favorite book and favorite movie? For me, my favorite movie is the first movie. It's the only movie that I've watched more than once. The rest of them I've only watched at the premieres. And now we just watched the very first movie on Christmas Day. Wow, it's 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 a tradition now. To yeah, see. exactly. Part, it's even more part of your life now. It is. It is. And what's the other question? Uh, what's your Harry Potter house? Well, I I came out Gryffindor on the test, which I uh, wasn't wasn't too wasn't too pleased with. But like in France, they say the test doesn't matter. And it's what you feel in your heart, and I'm a Slytherin in my heart, so <laughs> Slytherin for life. <laughs> Uh, for me, I always thought that Seamus should be an undercover spy for Slytherin. <laughs> and lo and behold, when I went and I did the test, fair enough, I was a Slytherin. And yeah, oh yeah, of course I am. It was always my favourite. I always wanted to be one of the guys. Uh, but yeah, no, that's what I've always wanted. I, I said to uh, the producers years ago, before we started filming the last movie, I said, I've got, got a great idea that Seamus should be an undercover spy for Slytherin. And they're like, oh my god, that's such a good idea. Hey, that's like a whole subplot. Like, we could do a whole franchise just on that. Like. <laughs> but I said, like, they, they said, oh my god, it's such a good idea. And I was like, will you put it into the movie? And they're like, no. <laughs> well, well, I, think I tried. JK is the one you'd have to convince. She, she will, yeah. Get her to write it, and then the rest will just fall into place. And she's completely against me being a Slytherin. <laughs> Uh, she gave out to me so many times. Every time I put something up on Twitter about uh, being a Slytherin, she'd always give out. So, uh, yeah, I was never going to get that one past her. Final question, yes. Uh, wow, the pressure is high. Yeah, uh, pressure. Okay, I'll take another one. No, I won't. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you're allowed to say this, but did you keep uh, any cool props from set, like items or clothing? We're not going to tell anyone. Hang what? on, there's a lot of cameras here. We can get yeah. in a lot of trouble. Yeah. Uh, no comment, yeah. No, no, no comment. Uh, to be fair, I, I have quite a lot of things. <laughs> I, I really do. A lot of things are given to me. A few things kind of fell into my bag. Well, no, that, that used to happen. I mean, sometimes you would, you'd be, you would just sort of like, you'd just be in your car on the way home and something would be in your pocket. Like the rings. Yeah. Rings like, were always coming home with us. Yeah, because they just... You just uh, absent-mindedly just put it in your pocket. Yeah. But no, I have, uh, in the first movie, I got to blow up a feather. And that was on my birthday. So they gave me the feather that I blew up. I have the Slytherin ring. I have the Slytherin tie pin. Uh, yeah, I have so. my own rings. I have all the houses, ties. 
I have. I've got, uh, I've got um, a black Hogwarts tie. Oh yeah, the original one. Before yeah. you get sorted into your house. Yeah, yeah they're cool. They're my favourite ones. But no, there's lots of like. Oh, I have my favourite thing that I own is the Howler from the second movie. Oh, you have a Howler? Yeah. So, <laughs> one of the producers on Harry Potter. He's got a catalogue of. <laughs> I do, honestly, I do. But see, Where did we leave these items? Oh, they're at Devon's house. <laughs> no, they were given to me. Oh. And I'm not telling you the things that just fell into my bag. <laughs> Devon, but, Devon can start his own tour. The, <laughs> the Devon pop tour. <laughs> I got in with the producers. I did a lot of charity work for them. And they just gave me things. As a guest, thank you very much. Yeah, my favourite thing. <clears throat> my favourite thing is my howler. Josh and Devon! Take that. Yeah, definitely. I'll take that. <laughs> Thank, okay. you. Thank you very much. Thank you a lot, guys, and have a great. Oh my god, look at Jerry and Rose! She lost her Hi. voice today. Yes, <laughs> Ooh, look at Lulu! Yeah. He's special, it's amazing. Oh, I love, I love it. The Sweeney. Sweeney. Ooh! Oh yeah, I, I like him better than Johnny Depp, I'm so sorry. <laughs> wow. It was a different character. But I mean... Yeah. It's a very dark character, so yeah. it fits him better than it did Johnny. Johnny's more of a comedian. I really like... I think oh my God. could have done a good job if it didn't look that weird. Yeah. Like yeah. With, the, with the white hair and yeah, with the eye. Just, and he was just making a caricature out of him. Ooh, yeah. 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 I just saw something amazing. As um, no, no, yeah. The Helena Bonaparte and... Uh, yeah, the one was really nice. Yeah. This is our one. So nice. I don't really care for Game of Thrones yet. I don't either, but <laughs> that picture is amazing. Yeah. Stranger Things. I find Stranger Things a little overrated. Oh, look at Grace. But you just shouldn't say that with the Hellfire Club that we started here. I haven't seen Stranger Things, so... Okay. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I got all the stuff, but I have no idea. Like, I'm starting to learn all the plot just from what people say at that group. Yeah. So. It's. I mean, it's a good show, but it's not like... You need to be so obsessed at, about um, it. Daredevil. Daredevil. I love it. Did you know that uh, Octavius? Sorry, Octavius. What? What Octavius? <laughs> Octavius in the in the uh, Hogwarts Legacy is actually blind. I didn't know that until after. Yeah, that's true. Game. I was looking at his eyes and I was like, he, that, is he blind? Is he? Heh. And this is, is the only he blind? Or did they just made that? But you can't do her justice without your green hair, I think. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god, Rick! <laughs> Come to me. Andy looks really pretty. Oh my god, he always looks pretty. Yeah. <laughs> Just saying. Negan. Negan, two ways. This is a uh, new Negan. This is a... Uh... New Negan? Yeah. Why new Negan? Boy, he's more. Oh, he's not Negan at all. Oh, no, no. He was like, what? Negan, what? Negan, what? Oh my god. Misha! Misha! He's like, he's not supposed to be there. <laughs> Catherine. Yeah. He looks really amazing. This looks so good. Oh, Angel. He's coming to uh, German Comic Con. He does, he comes a lot of you as well. Right? Ooh. Ooh. Look at Taylor! Look at Taylor! Here we cash! Don't talk, just don't talk. I shouldn't talk anymore. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna put it open on the nurse's side. <laughs> yeah, it's just horrible. It's getting worse. Swirl time. You want to swirl? Or are you calling Natasha to get I'm a swirl? She ah, swirl. she wants a swirl. Okay. I think it's a little early for swirls for me. Yeah, true. true. 
we have a candle situation down here. Uh, oh, we have eggs with candle lights. Oh, oh, that's also very also very romantic. Very okay, romantic. there we go. Open them. We want to know what's inside. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I will just uh, film your hands. Look at it. Oh, put you, put you, put you. This yeah. looks like in the back. And then we snap one open. It. Snap. Ooh, it's Dumbledore. It's Dumbledore. Dumbledore. Oh my god, it's a Funko. Look at that. Well, we already knew, but I mean like a Funko pop. Um, we know how to do this. I can't do this. You can do it. I will do it. Yes. Not only is it Dumbledore, it is the Dumbledore from movie 3 and up. Oh. <laughs> and I have Eggie for later. Mm -hmm. That went really fast actually. Yeah. Next one. Alright, then another one. Let's see if this opens up like that as well. Oh, no. Nope. This is the jockey side. No, no, I think that's the jockey. Oh wait, never mind. No, but that's the jockey side because... What does no. it say? Okay, no, no, sorry. This sorry, my fault. <laughs> there we go. It's Ron Weasley. Run, 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 it's Ron Weasley. Ron Weasley. <laughs> Snap that. <laughs> no, nope. not gonna do that. Nope. So it's in his Hogwarts oh. outfit. Oh, you can even string him up. There. It came with a string. Wait. Oh, it's a keychain. Keychain. I don't think I'll okay. use that as a keychain. And then the third one. The third one is. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh my god! <laughs> How do children do this? I don't know. Did you know that in Europe they still have the eggs with just the, uh, the yeah. yellow thing in the middle? Yeah. They're illegal in the USA. Is it? That's <gasps> Tom Riddle, I think. No, no, no. I think it's. No. Oh, it's Snape! Snape! Look at my hair! <laughs> but why does he have a man bun? <laughs> <laughs> he does have a man bun. It's Cho Chang, sweetheart. It's Cho Chang. It's Cho Chang. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a, she's in Snape's outfit. No, she's not. She's, she's in a okay, ribbon It is Cho Chang. Sorry, yeah. Snape. This is Cho Chang. Chang. There she is. So now I'm gonna do my three eggies. So just hang on there. Sorry, Cho. Sorry, Cho. Okay. Rip there it open. Go. First one. And I'll rip it open. That is the candy Ooh. part. <gasps> Who's it? What's he seen there? Who's in there? We will see. Oh, oh, it it's is a, a game, I think. It is a game. Oh, you oh, know, it's a. Let me see. I don't know what it is. You didn't get a Funko, that's weird. No. It's mean. It's mean. Um, okay, let me see if there's a description. <laughs> We're unsure what this is, but There's, it also comes with a string. It has, oh no, it has to do so. Okay, okay, okay. It's the Hogwarts Express. Yeah, it's the Hogwarts Express. So, where's the black thingy? Oh, right here. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Sorry, it's upside down. It's okay. They can see what it is. Sorry about my voice, guys. It's getting worse. Yeah. Yeah. So I can put the string on it. It's not really important to do that oh. now. Oh, now you shove them in there, like they're yeah. like a train. Okay, I see. I get it now. Let me now. see. E oh no, no, no! It's book holder. It's like book. What's it oh, called? the bookmarks. Bookmarks. So bookmarks. We got bookmarks. one. Harry. Harry. And Hermione. And then we got the Hogwarts Express. That's really cool. Where is that? Awesome. 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 Next awesome. one. Next one. Next one. I hope you get a phone call. That's nice. I yeah. hope too. But yeah, you never know. I actually never tasted these joy eggs. No, I didn't. Go. Kenny? Kenny's oh, gold. Kenny's gold. Kenny's gold. No, I was like, I can't see my hands. So I'm like, <laughs> am I just... Ooh. Oh my god, what's that? This is... Also not a phone call. Also, yeah, well, it's a Funko related part. Yeah. Uh, this is. It's a bracelet. It's a bracelet. It's a bracelet. Does it fit adults? I don't <laughs> That's know. The you can wear Harry on your wrist. Just a sec. I'm first going to do this, so this will be off screen because this is just. Yeah. Wicked a sec. 
Hot school. Look at the candle, guys. Ooh, pretty pretty. Wee candy. Look at the candy. Look at the candy. We're not gonna put this in the video anyway, but look at the candy. And then there's the churros. Churros, churros, churros. Cosplayers. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wish bears. I don't know what I'm seeing. What, 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 There you go. I got it. I got it. It is a bracelet. bracelet. Pretty, pretty. I kind of like it. It's actually really, a really nice string. String? Yeah. Sure, yeah. It's, uh, I don't think it's, uh, oh, it's Gryffindor. I see the, the lion. Yeah. So it's Gryffindor. I'm going to put this right here. Like you couldn't see it was Gryffindor by the color. No. <laughs> I love it. Sometimes the same color is used for Hogwarts. So That yeah. is true. When yeah. you're quite work. Yeah. So, last eggy. Last eggy. There we go, last eggy. It's heavy. Oh, it's must heavy. Be a there. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. I hope it's hairy. It is a Funko, and it's it's it's, 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 it's it's Hagrid. Hagrid. No wonder it's heavy. Yeah. <laughs> Can you see it? Yes. Okay, there we go. Snap. Shouldn't have it's said that. I should not Hagrid. have said that. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Well, he said he wanted to be an egg, so he said that. Oh, the section is so fitting because he wanted a, a dragon egg and now he was part of an egg. Oh my god, yeah, you're so right. Aww. That's so sweet. We miss you, Robbie Aww. Coltrane. Yeah, we miss you. Can I have your oohs, your ahs, and all your loud love for Kevin McNally? Welcome to the Sunday show. Danke Will. <laughs> wow. Is it too deep? Yeah. Oh, maybe I'm just too big. <laughs> if you feel like staying here all day, it's fine, but I'll stretch out. <laughs> Did you have a good time so far at the show? Yeah, it's been great. This is my third show I've done in the Netherlands. The first one was in Utrecht. It was huge. Uh, the second one was in... Hussen, am I right? Hussen? Which was one of the smallest I've ever been to. I think there were me and about three other people there. What is it? Hausen. 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 It's, this is a very hard thing. I, oh, I know I can't do it. It's <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, so, yeah, and I've had a lovely time here. Um, some lovely cosplayers I've met. Um, uh, really, really, uh, people have put a lot of effort into this, and so I think a round of applause for everybody here. Thank you very much. Um, well, they're happy to see you. You are someone of a pirate expert now, by trade. Oh, absolutely, yes. You know, is there, is there anything... Well, I'm sure as a young boy, you've read adventure novels, you saw some pirate movies, well, yes, because when I was growing up, um, th there were, uh, on the television, you saw a lot of 50s movies, and people like Tyrone Power and Errol Flynn, they'd made all of those 40s and 50s pirate films, so I was a real fanatic about pirates. And they've also been something of, um, uh, I, I, it's been in my life a lot. The very first job I did professionally in the theater, and I don't know if you know this book, but I played Jim Hawkins in Treasure Island when I was about 16. So the very first thing I did was all about uh, pirates. I didn't know I was going to get old and become one, you know. <laughs> but the very funny thing about getting the pirates job was um, about uh, two years before I got the gig, um, my daughter had an operation which meant she, uh, on her head which meant she couldn't fly. And I wanted to take her away somewhere after the operation, so I took her to Disneyland Paris had just opened, and I took her there. And about two years later, I found myself on the set of Pirates of the Caribbean, and I phoned her up and said, um, she said, how's the film going? I said, it's strange because it all seems quite familiar. 
like I've seen it before. And she went, yeah, we went on Pirates of the Caribbean ride five times. <laughs> I went, oh, that was what it was. Um, and it, interestingly, if I remembered that the character, the, the, the animatronic that my character's based on, with a, a man, a drunken man with pigs, I remembered hating his costume. So I definitely knew I didn't want to dress like the, the, the guy in the thing. And another interesting thing happened that when we went to do a read through at Johnny's uh, club in Hollywood, um, they, what they often do is they only have the lead actors, they don't have all the small parts yet. And there was a small part at the beginning of the film of a man in the Navy who was really scared of pirates. So they said, would you read that part as well? So I said, yeah. So I said, quiet, Missy. Cursed pirates sail these waters. And they went, actually, that's brilliant. If that's Gibbs, he's so scared of pirates, the only way he can overcome his, his phobia is to become a pirate. So then we got, then, because I didn't want the costume, we realized he'd been cashiered out of the Navy, and they used to do that by tearing your buttons off and tearing your sleeves off. So it was basically a ripped up naval costume that he was wearing. So it all tied in really, really nicely. Wow. That was a very long answer for a short question, wasn't it? I, I think it was very informative. I mean, <laughs> look at their happy faces. Oh, <laughs> oh. Even in the back. It's <laughs> Can you hear me at the back? Yeah, are the people in the also like Kevin or not, or... And I can tell you I don't need a microphone! <laughs> a thespian. Theater training. Yes, of course. I'm going to jump into the audience. Well, I don't have to because... This person here in front has had a question for several years. And she will be given the opportunity to ask you right now. So here we go. And then afterwards, some acrobatics. Hi. Um, first of all, I'm a huge fan of Pirates of the Caribbean, etc. Why are you wearing a Hogwarts uniform? <laughs> because I couldn't get a pirate's outfit together. Right. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, my you question... know they've never put me in those films, don't you? You're doing this on purpose. <laughs> yes, obviously. <laughs> no, my question was, I don't know if you know, but there's this theory that you're always four handshakes away from anyone in the world. Yes, I've heard that. And I've been trying to get to Orlando Bloom. And I'm on three handshakes now, so you would make it two. Yes! yes! Uh, what was, uh, which pirate movie uh, was your favorite to work on? And um, in which one uh, had, you mo had you had the most fun to act in? Well, uh, uh, my answer to that is always the second one for two reasons. One is that when we started, the first one, we had no idea what it was going to be like, or even if it would ever get released, and Disney weren't behind it. The second one, we knew we were in a hit, and it also has the most of Mr. Gibbs in it, which I think really helps the movie. You know, because you sit there bored going, oh, when is Mr. Gibbs going to come back on again, for heaven's sake? Yeah, Johnny Depp, Johnny Depp, Orlando Bloom. Ah, Mr. Gibbs! Hi. Um, from all the Pirates movies, I know that a lot of the, uh, the, the script has been changed kind of like at the spot. So what would be your favorite quote that you maybe made yourself of, or that was written for you? Well, I didn't personally do that, but there is a moment in the first film, in the scene where I'm telling Orlando Bloom about the sea turtles and how, how Jack Sparrow escaped from the island. And at the end of it, I say, you know, he lashed two turtles together and, and off he went. And he says to me, where did he get the rope? And I go, hmm, where would he have got the rope from? And he came up and jo Johnny came up and the line was, I wove together human hair, and then he added, from my back. And if you watch the scene, I just turn to the camera and go, <laughs> but it looks like I'm saying it to Orlando. There are many times in the film that things stayed in that I don't understand. One of them was when we got to Davy Jones' locker, you know, the beach, and the, 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 the boat comes over on, on the stones, which are, which are uh, crabs. So he comes over, 
and I go, slap me thrice and hand me to me mama, it's Jack, and I run off screen. This was the day I decided that I was going to have my teeth painted because they'd given me nasty pirate teeth. And it's still in the film, as I run off, my teeth shoot out of my mouth and leave the frame just before I do. Have a look, it's really funny. Slap me thrice and hand me to me, mum, it's just... <laughs> Good, I'm, I moved here. There you are, yes. yes. Yay. That yeah. way the sound guy can also I see you. You're standing next to that potted plant. Yes. Oh, here, yes. yes. But it's a magical potted plant. Oh, that's good. <laughs> and right beside that, this... As a pirate wench. Yes. Hi. Hi. Um, so I was wondering... Why haven't you come up and got my autograph? Uh, because I was busy spending way too much money on... Oh, <laughs> okay, that's fair enough. <laughs> I'll accept that excuse. <laughs> so I was wondering... Is that one of me down there? I tell you, you kids are in trouble. You really are. <laughs> Sorry, your question, darling. Yes. Uh, what's the most bizarre thing that has ever happened on uh, a film set Where, with, uh, with you? Well, um, there are many bizarre things that happen, but I'll tell you the funniest thing that happened. Very early on in the first film, me, Orlando Bloom, and Johnny Depp were doing a scene on a tiny boat. Um, I don't, can't remember what part of the plot it was, but they, they were going to dump, they're called dumpers, they, they're like eight, ga eight gallon things of water on us, and there was a, there was a, a, a wind machine, and, so, and, it was, and it, we, were, we were rehearsing about two in the morning, we were going to shoot at about four in the morning, and uh, they, said, they said to us, okay, we finished rehearsals, go and get your wetsuits on, under your costume, so that you don't get wet, you don't get uh, pneumonia, and then come back and we'll shoot the scene. And we were walking off and Johnny Depp said, he said, here, Kevin, he said, um, don't put the wetsuit on. I said, why? He said, he puts about six pounds on you. You look fat on screen. And I went, well, I had a bit of weight on me. I thought, I don't want to look more fat than I am. So I, I, I went in and the wardrobe woman said, here's your, I said, I don't need a wetsuit. Thank you very much, I'm a pirate. Keep your wetsuit. So I, I go back about an hour later and I'm just about to step on the ship and Johnny says, uh, Kevin, did you put the wetsuit on? I went, no. Nah. He pulled open his shirt, there was a wetsuit. He said, sucker. <laughs> Our time is at an end on this stage right for now. Well, we could do but, this for another two hours, well, probably. Well, my next answer would probably be two hours. Yeah. <laughs> but if they have Actually, any more... Great. If they have any more questions, I'm sure they'll come up. I'm sure they'll come up. I'm totally well, emotional. Just come and see me. <laughs> Such a long no. And uh, <laughs> I'm sure they'll come over to your table. That would be lovely. They'll meet you. They'll talk to you once more. Please do. Thank you very much. It's been a joy. Thank you. Kevin Magnelli! Wow. Hey. So, I hope you enjoyed the Kevin McNally Q&A session. Unfortunately, it was too crowded, so it's from the side. Yes. But I think his jokes were f still very funny. Absolutely. With his um, <laughs> teeth falling out. And it's still in the movie, so check it out. It's, I think, the third movie. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yep. Um, so, we forgot to uh, <laughs> film our ending, basically. So, this is our ending. Bye. Uh, yeah, this was the first <laughs> Comic-Con, the Holland Comic-Con. Yeah, from uh, the Holland. Yes, from the Brussels, as we said. I think we already said it, but if we yep. didn't, it's the same uh, organization. Mm -hmm. So if you want to see a video about Brussels, it's over there. If you want to see a video about Dutch Comic Con, it's right over there. And over here is a video that I think YouTube wants you to see. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Go see it. <laughs> so if you haven't uh, considered subscribing yet, please do so because that will help us tell us what you want to see uh, at Comic Cons, like cosplay catwalk, more Absolutely. Q and A sessions, or whatever you want. Yep. And. Uh, we will see you next time. Bye. 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 <laughs> Aww.